Well, hi everybody. Gonna have a little catch up with the blog. It's back on the YouTube channel. Um, gonna try and get Tuesdays most weeks, so keep tuned to see what's happening. Gonna start off with uh, a Feeder Masters campaign this weekend. Hallcroft Fisheries, absolutely love Hallcroft. Um, this year they've allowed the Method Feeder for the first time. They've put some fish in from other lakes, move a few fish about, and as a result, the whole place is fishing really well. It looks really well as well, so it's really, really nice place to go fishing. I really like big lakes. I like to give myself some options, be able to cast, work, feed my peg, you know, um, really something that I'm enjoying a lot at the moment. The plan was go on Saturday for an open match, which you might have seen on my Facebook page, went really well. Caught a lot of fish, a little bit of detail about that. Basically, the island was pegged um, with a, a different match. A club were fishing on there. And the open match was on our bank, on the outer bit of the moat pool, and also on bridge pool. As you went round moat pool, I was the last peg on the outside, but then the inside kept going past me. And what it meant was you could only fish the halfway, you weren't allowed to fish across, which was obviously different to how it was going to be on the Saturday, but very interesting nonetheless. Now, my plan was fish down the middle, about 20 metres, and then fish down the edges. And what you've got to remember about Hallcroft, it's a big lake. Now, this was an any method match, but with feeder masters in mind for the Sunday, wanted to have a practice. So I just took my feeder rods, and that was it really. What I had was a 10 foot superior um, set up for the middle, and I wanted to try out one of the 10 foot Monster X's, which we've been testing a little bit. They are so good, so really wanted to try one of those out. So I set one of those up for down the edge. Now, on this middle line as well, I set up another rod just to feed a little bit of bait. What you've got to remember is in feeder matches, you can't use a catapult or anything like that. And also, it was really windy, and I think a catapult would have gone everywhere. Bait would have gone everywhere. So I used one of the feeding feeders to put the bait in, and it allowed me to introduce hard particles of baits. What I did was I got a bait tub, mixed some six and eight mil pellets together and I wedged them in this feeder and that meant that I could cast out and feed bait on a clip really accurately. And I did that at 20 meters. I could feed three or four, I could feed one at a time, whatever I needed to do. Remember, you don't know the answers in fishing, you have to do it as you're fishing to try and feel it in. The best way I found was put two in when there was no fish there or if I was catching a few fish, just put one in to top it up. And the bottom, at Hallcroft is incredibly silty and I've been out this week with uh, Joe filming for Preston and we found there was a massive difference using the lighter feeders this was a, a, a large ICS 20 gram feeder which is what I used on the day because it's large it lays flat on the floor really well and basically it means when you load it up it doesn't dig into the silt so that was the plan for the middle and really I was going to use a smaller one in the edge which will work no doubt but i felt the fish really wanted some bait here so i moved up to a 30 gram in that that was set up for that monster x rod down the edge those were the two lines started down the middle and had a fantastic start i was using a white or yellow i fished white a lot to be fair um like the white with a bit of yellow on i don't know what it is about that but i just feel like it gives me the best of both really um and I've caught quite a few fish on that, but they were quite small by Hallcroft standard. I reckon 11 or 12 fish went 60 pounds, something like that, um, which was great fishing. And then the bream turned up, absolutely bizarre. I was using a 12 uh, MCM with 022 uh, AccuPower, proper, proper thick, strong line because the carp in there can be so big, made no difference to the bream, kept catching those. And I thought, well, this is going well. I'm going to be on for, you know, 100 pound, hopefully, if it stays like this. Then it went a bit funny, and I swapped. I came down the edge, went back to 20 meters, and I just alternated between the two lines, feeding them with the feed and feeder, really busy fishing, and all of a sudden, the bigger fish were there to catch, and I kept nicking a bigger one. I finished with 24 carp and about 20 odd skimmers um, for 198 pound to win the match, which was fantastic. And I know it was a great practice for the next day, but what a day's fishing, absolutely stunning. One of the best days fishing on a feed I've had for a long time, so really, really good. The next day, it wasn't as windy, it was a bit flatter, and I drew on bridge pool, and I must admit, I was a bit disappointed. I like bridge, 
uh, but my 20 peg zone was the entirety of bridge pool and I just felt that one side or the other might be a bit better I wasn't quite sure as it happened wasn't really the case plan was very similar apart from I could cast across so I set up a 12 foot uh, Monster X rod for casting across just to give that a bit of a whirl and um, on that I used a 45 gram distance method feeder it's only 45 meters across there but the wind was a little bit tricky even though it was flat it was like one minute it was coming to the side next minute it was coming to the other side and I just felt like I wanted to be super accurate to the platform and as well with that line going out and it's sloping away from the far bank a heavier feeder held better so 45 gram distance method for that really really nice now I worked the middle and a lot of people started across and it worked for me I caught uh, a probably four or five carp it was going well and then I caught seven or eight skimmers I heard Simon Fry was catching on the other bank but apart from that it looked like me and him were in for a pretty close battle and I was really enjoying it for some reason everything just faded away third hour I just lost everything um, I don't think I had a fish for over an hour I tried starting a new line I went back across tried being patient nothing seemed to work for me which was really really disappointing they were catching a few to my left but nothing really to my right and I just felt like the fish had moved a little bit for some reason which is really disappointing but I heard Simon was catching quite well fishing to a reed bed across um, and it was looking like it was all over so just to salvage a bit of pride I just kept working my lines and I managed another three carp last hour a big ghosty down the edge um, and then it's a couple more from the middle and again I kicked it off a little give it a little restart with a feeding feeder three quick feeder fulls chucked in and got one straight away so really really interesting I finished with 73 pound 10 ounces which was second in my 20 peg zone it's killing me it's killing me not qualifying but you know keep being there or thereabouts all the time I do know that I will get an opportunity just having somebody nick me uh, the other time won my 10 peg section there's not a lot really you can do about that so the good thing is i'm enjoying some good feeder matches and that is really really good i do want to touch on what i was putting around my feeder because a couple of people asked me about this and i have been doing it for a while and you've seen it on a few bits you have to use fishery pellets there at hallcroft i like to blend the two and the four mils so i've used 50 50 two mils and four mils soaked them for one minute in water pulled them out chucked them in a bucket and just left them did that at home because uh, i got them on saturday did that at home on the sunday when i got to the venue the fours don't have enough chance to take on enough water so all you get is like a little bit of a softened four but the, the core is still hard and i think feeding hard pellets for these carp is important i do think they like eating hard pellets along with the soft so i like to mix it up on my method feeder now in order to get them to bind it's got to be the bait booster and what i'm doing is almost using this like water if you like to bring the pellets round but of course it's so sweet and strong it's making the pellets completely different from everybody else so when i've got them mixed up in my tub you couldn't squeeze them on a method feeder because they hadn't taken on enough water. Put the Bonoffi on, it sort of brings them round and they go perfectly on your method. They break down really well and of course they're really, really sweet, which is great when everybody's chucking in fishery pellets. So it worked really well for me both days. You're talking about um, 270 odd pound of carp and skimmers over the two days. That's a cracking couple of days fishing. Um, well done to Simon Fry qualifying. Eddie Bryden, a good friend of mine, winning the match. Brilliant job there, Eddie. And Brian Sullivan won the other section. So they were the three qualifiers at the Feeder Masters um, event. For me now, going to be really interesting. I have got quite a lot coming up. We've got the World Club Championships in Croatia in July. So at some point over the next couple of weeks, we're actually flying out there to have a little look uh, at the venue for a couple of days. Any excuse, I suppose, to get on a plane and uh, go to Croatia for a couple of days. Have a look at what's going on there. And then when I get back, I'm actually off to Poland to stay with my great friend Adam Nimick. And we're going to really have a little look at some fishing for huge carp, sturgeon, some fast rivers. So I'll get a few little clips while I'm there. And we'll vlog on that when we get back. Hope you've enjoyed this little catch up. And uh, keep tuned to the channel. Please like and subscribe. There's going to be loads and loads of stuff coming on uh, weekly now from now on in. Hope you've enjoyed it.